Hello and welcome to my guide on how to build a website. I'm going to keep this as simple and as potent as possible so you guys can build a great looking website in record time and do it as cheaply as possible. Now this is the exact way to make that happen. So there's going to be a couple things you need to get started. Number one is going to be a domain. I personally buy my domains from GoDay, but essentially what you want to do here, whatever the name of your business, let's say it is Tim's Mowing, for example. If we were to put that into here and click search domain, it's going to bring up all the possible options. So if you're Tim's Mowing and you want the .com.au, which is probably the one that I would recommend, you would go on here and you would purchase it make it yours, all right? You go ahead, you create an account, you go through the process of setting up that domain, and once you have that sorted, then there's one thing that you're going to have to update on here. So this is basically the name that people are gonna type into Google to get to your business. Now there is another element, well, a couple elements to this that I'm gonna walk through, but number one is you wanna get a domain that people can search and then you'll pop up. So for example, if your business was called Tim's Mowing, I would probably recommend purchasing this one. Now, once you have your domain, the next thing that you're going to need is a host. Now, a host is something that basically hosts your website online. It stores all the data. It has, you know, people can go onto that hosting thing. And essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up your domain. So anytime someone types in that domain, it's going to send them across to the page that's hosting um, your website, all right? So number one, let's get a domain. So make it yours, go through, obviously make sure it's related to your business, whatever that needs to be. And wherever possible in Australia, try and get the .com.au. You've also got the option for a .au, um, like we've got at Trade Agency. Um, that's also an option as well. Cool. Domain sorted. Go through, get one. The second thing we're going to do is to find a host. Now for this, I use DreamHost because it's one of the cheapest ones out there. And if possible, what I'll do is I'll drop links below for these and basically the best deals that you guys can get currently. But realistically, you're going to go ahead and you're going to um, purchase a domain and you're going to need to buy a host. Now a domain, this is typically the price for the year. So you'll get that for one year. Um, hosting, typically you would get this for, most people pay monthly. So prices as you can see up here, $2.59 per month. So this is usually billed monthly. Um, and there's, you know, usually deals like that going on. All right. Now, what we're going to do, let's say you've gone ahead and you've bought your domain and you've gotten yourself a host. Now, what you need to do is you need to set up your domain to point towards the host. So when someone types in your domain, it's going to point them to the website where it's actually being hosted. Now, depending on your host, this is going to change. So I'm gonna show you how to do this for DreamHost, which is the one that I personally use and would recommend if you were building a website yourself. However, if you did use a different host, they would have a different uh, spot to point the website to, all right? So here's how we do it. You go onto here and you go to the domain that you have purchased. Let me just pause this quickly and I'll bring up what that page looks like. Alrighty, so this is where your domains come up. Now I'm just going to show this one because that's uh, one that's hosted on DreamHost and it's gonna show you how to do it. Now this is the Trady Agency website. So as you can see, this is actually how I build websites. So tradeagency.au, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to DNS. So if you click onto that one, it's going to open uh, the settings for this particular domain. Now there's only one in particular that we really need to look at and that's for A name records. Now at the point of purchasing this, this is going to actually just say parked 
as in it's parked at GoDaddy, which is where you bought the domain if you did purchase it through here. You can also buy the domain other places, but I like GoDaddy. Now what you're going to want to do here is basically copy this number in here. Now I'm gonna pop this into the useful links spot below just so you have a record of this. But essentially you're going to um, go to the edit button and you're going to post in that value there and make sure it all looks the same. So you've got A, at, which basically just says keep as is. Put that value into there and I like 600 seconds. And then you're just gonna go save, all right? Now, this takes a little bit of time to do what's called propagating. So it's basically just uploading those records online. But there's this useful tool called Where's, What's My DNS, which I'll link below as well. And what you can do in here is you can type in your domain. All right. Look at the A records and click search. And basically what you're looking for is this is going to propagate across all of these different spots. Now this could take half an hour, it could take an hour, in some instances it could take a day. Usually I find a couple hours and you're all set. All right, so that's going to be linking your domain across to your host. So now that you've got a host, let's start building the website. And we're not gonna connect the domain just yet, because it's probably taking time to actually connect here. But let's go across to our host here and let's start creating a new website. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to log in. Now just use your login details and then it's gonna take you to your websites. Now I host a whole heap of websites um, for clients and for myself and for different projects. Um, but essentially what you're going to do is you're going to go to websites, manage websites, and then you're going to go add website. So once you get to add website, what you're going to do is simply go, let's go, do, 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 choose a domain later. Now this is going to mean that we get started on the project right away and we don't have to actually set up the domain just yet, but we want to get it started propagating just because that's going to take a little bit of time. So I'm just going to call this test website and it's going to use its own domain here. So that's fine. Oh, this already exists. All right. Trading. Surely that doesn't exist. Cool. Hosting. So now we're going to set it up to whatever your hosting plan is. This is what my hosting plan is, and we're gonna go set up website. Now this is going to take a little bit of time to set up, so we'll just pause it here and we will jump back on once it has done the setup and processing. Won't be long. Alrighty, so now that has completely processed. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click manage on that and we're gonna set up what's called WordPress. WordPress is basically a content management system that allows you to build websites on hosting. So simply what we're gonna do here is we're gonna click install and it's gonna ask us a few questions. So yes, that's the domain that we're gonna be installing it on. I personally select none here just so I can set up exactly what I want on there. It's gonna ask me for recommended plugins. I'm gonna leave those unticked and click install. Now, this is gonna take a little bit of time again to process and install onto there. But while that's happening, let me just show you guys um, a few of the assets that we're going to need to be able to um, build a website. So I'm just gonna be using our assets for Trady Agency for this, but it's likely one, you're gonna need a logo. Two, you're gonna need what's called a favicon. So as you can see up here, you've got you know these icons up here. These are called favicons, and essentially they're just icons for the tab, so people can easily recognize your website when they're browsing through. So those are two really handy assets that you're going to need, but you're also going to need a few photos that are going to allow you to, um, I guess, put content on your website and make sure there's you know stuff up there for people to see. So. A nice little handy tool that I like to use is Pexels. 
Now Pexels is essentially a spot for free stock images. So this is where you can get images for your website. Um, let's see, free lawn mowing photos. So as you can see on here, if you were a lawn mowing business, you'd be able to find some cool photos on there for lawn mowing. You know, perhaps you've got your own photos. Let's see, Carpenter. Let's see if there's anything on there. You know, there's a few kind of carpentry related photos. You can also, um, yeah. So just, just a cool spot where you can potentially get some stock images free for your website. Um, but yeah, let's uh, check on back over here. So WordPress is being installed onto the website. So this is where you can now click onto WordPress here. It's going to take us across to the website. All right, so now we are on here. Let's go, supposed to log us in instantly. Let's just refresh that, find our website and WordPress, and let's see what happens. All right. Now, if this ever does happen, what you can simply do is it's always going to use the username as your email or as the username. So if, if this ever does happen, and like realistically, you're gonna change your password anyway, rather than using the stock admin one, just go lost password. You're going to add in your email address. This is just one of my personal ones. Get new password. And it's going to go ahead and send us a link here to set our password. So I'm just going to pause it here while I reset that password. But essentially, you'll get a link where you can basically jump right in there and reset the password. One moment. All right. Now that I've reset that password, I've added in those details. And I'm going to click log in. All right. And this is exactly what a brand new website with absolutely nothing on WordPress looks like all right so first thing we're going to do is download a few plugins that are just going to make this easier um, and we're also going to start by installing a theme so if you go to themes just like i did there under appearance and then themes we're going to go to add new now the theme that we're going to want to add is this one called hello elementor so if you go install then it's going to load and then you're going to be able to click activate now that just adds in a few cool templates so you can make things a little bit easier. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to plugins here and we're going to go to add new. Now the thing is WordPress updates from time to time so if you're watching this a little bit after recording this video, it's likely it may look a little bit different but all the same stuff in here is going to look the same. Now what we're gonna type into here is Elementor just like I've typed up there and you can see. And we're going to go Elementor Website Builder. We'll install that one. And then we're also gonna go Elementor Header and Footer. So I like that one too. Now, what we're also going to do is Yoast. We're gonna download two from here as well. So the first one is Yoast SEO. And I'll explain that one in a later video. We're gonna also do Yoast Duplicate Post. Just so in future, if you ever do need to duplicate or clone a page, this is going to allow us to do that. We're gonna look at that at later videos as well. Next one we're going to want to download is something called Contact Form 7. This is gonna be in the next section that you can see there in Lead Forms, but we're gonna download it now anyway. So Contact Form 7, and the last one we wanna download is called Flamingo. Once that loads, we'll click onto that one as well. Alrighty, now that we've downloaded all of those, now we need to install and activate them. So if we go to installed plugins, you're gonna see a whole heap of extra stuff here. So let's keep this simple. Contact form seven, that's one we wanna add. Elementor, yep, Elementor header and footer. Uh, Flamingo, yes, not that one. Yoast, yes, yes, yes. All right, and we'll go bulk actions, activate. We're gonna click apply, and that's going to activate all of those plugins that are gonna make it nice and easy to build a website. All right, 
Next thing is we are going to name your website. So as you can see here, it's called just another WordPress, WordPress website. We're just gonna call ours test website. But if you wanna call yours Tim's Mowing or whatever your business is called, go ahead and do that. Scroll down to the bottom, save changes. All right, now that that's saved, we're going to go ahead and create your first page. Now this is gonna be a very simple website. It's gonna be a one page website. It's gonna have a lead form and it's gonna tell you details about your website. Now I'm just gonna call this home and I'm gonna go over here, template, and we're going to update this to full width, elemental full width. Once we do that, we're just gonna click publish. Cool. All right, and as you can see, it shows you a little bit of a snippet of what it's gonna look like on Google, but we're not done yet, all right? So let's go back to our WordPress website, and you can see we've got the home page there now. Now, there's a few different design sections to any website, all right? So what there is is there's the header. So if you see this top section up here, this is known as the header. Then this is the actual page where we can see the content, all right? That's obviously gonna be never ending, but let's go to this one. And then down the bottom here, you can see what's called the footer. So this is where we can have you know links and stuff in the bottom here. Now we're gonna set all three of these up. So the first thing we'll do is let's go ahead and do the footer. Uh, the header and footer. So we'll go appearance, elemental, header and footer builder. If we go there, you'll see that there's absolutely nothing in there. So we'll go add new, feel free to skip that. Um, and then it's gonna take us to this page. So the type of template that we want to build is a header. So we'll go ahead and click header, display on, and I'll do entire website. And then user roles all um, to, to enable layout for canvas template, no, um, and we'll go publish. All right, we should have probably added a title into there as well. So let's call that header version one, cool. And we'll go update. All right, and now we're gonna go uh, edit with Elementor, and that's going to allow us to now build it. All right, so this is the Elementor Builder. So this is how you'll be building pretty much all of these now. Um, and essentially you've got blocks that you can add. So as here we can you know, build it with just a regular single block. And then on the left here, whenever we click plus or we can click these nine squares over here, these are all the sections that we can add onto there. Now, the first thing that we want to do is we want to create a split here. So if we go back to this website, as you can see, we've got the logo over here and then we got a whole heap of stuff over here. Now realistically, for this website being a one page, we're going to keep it really simple. We're just going to have a, you know the logo over here. And we're going to leave this blank, but I'll point you in the right direction as to how you can add a few extra things. So the first thing we're going to add here is what's called an inner section. And we're gonna take that, we're gonna drag it up here. And as you can see, we've got two inner sections now. But realistically, we don't want that to take up half the space there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the center, we're gonna make it a little smaller. So we've got room for activity over here for future. And then here we'll just have a little logo. So I'll go back to my nine squares and I'm gonna drag across image and drag it up here realistically a logo is just an image so what I did there is I went ahead and clicked on choose image and now I have the ability to upload files so if I go onto here I'm going to be able to find doo -doo -doo, my logo website video this is my logo it's gonna quickly upload we're gonna go select and now we've got our logo up there now I personally think that's a big, big. So we're gonna to go to style. And we're going to make it a little bit bigger. I mean, smaller. How's that? I reckon that looks all right. So we'll go update and that's our logo done for now. 
So now what I want to do is point you in the right direction how to add a few things here. So we'll go ahead and click our nine squares again and we're going to see what kinds of things we can add in here. So first one we can add is a menu. So once you create a menu, um, you can pretty much drag this over and we'll have a few menu items that will come up. So this will look pretty similar to what you've got over here where people can click stuff um, and you'll create menus within the WordPress dashboard. So that's one thing that you can add in there but because we don't have a menu yet, it's not populated. The next thing we can add in there and one thing that I use pretty commonly is a button. So if we drag and drop a button up here, you know, we've got that. Now we can change the text um, as to what it's about. So get a free quote is something, for example, that you would use. You would have a link on there, which could be uh, your domain slash quote. And you create a page that is actually that domain before you put it into there. Now we can change the position of it. I personally put it on the right hand side over there. You can change the size of it um, and you can change the style of it. So if we go to style up here, personally, I'm not a big fan of big green buttons. So what I would do is I would go down here and I would change the style to be, let's say a nice gray button, all right? And then I also want when people, you know, click on it, or hover over it. So if we click hover and we'll go color, we'll make it a little bit darker. So when people hover over this, it goes a little darker. Cool. It's good enough for me. Alrighty. So that's our header done. So now we'll click these little burger menu and we'll go exit. All right. Uh, do, do, do. Just like that. Doesn't matter. Alrighty, so that's our header created. So now, if we visit our website and we go over here, it's gonna have our header and then it's gonna have some random page there. Cool, but at least our header has been added now. So let's go back. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're gonna set up our home page. So we're going to go to reading and then it's going to ask us your home page displays and we want to click a static page. Home page and we're going to click the page we created called home, save changes. All right, now this is where we get to the pretty part. So we're going to go back to pages. We're going to go and see now this is the home page and we're going to go edit. And we're going to open it in a new tab. Typically speaking with WordPress, when you use this as like a directory, you want to open the other things in new tabs. Now, we've got this all created on here. Now it's time to start designing. So, what we're going to do is click Edit with Elementor. And that's going to take a little moment to load. All right, so now we can start designing our page. And as you can see, our header is up there. Of course, you know, make some changes, customize it as you go. Um, but first thing, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna have what's called a hero banner. So this is just like a banner that you have up the top there. And realistically, what you're going to do is, first off, let's add some elements into there. So we'll add a header into there. Now this header is going to look pretty ordinary when you first add it into there. Realistically, you're gonna want it center, maybe, um, unless you have different sections, all right? But we're gonna keep this pretty sim simple. We're also gonna make this H1, because it's gonna be the biggest banner on there. And let's say uh, this is 10, oh, well, uh, best mowing in Brisbane. Realistically, you're gonna want something captivating in there that you know makes people want to actually, you know, use your service. So let's take a mowing business for example. All right, and what I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and get a lawn mowing photo so we can add it in there. I like this one. Free download. All right. So now that we've stolen that. We're going to click this edit section here and we're going to have a few different things. Style. 
first one here is we're going to have a background. So we went to style, we click classic, we're not doing the color, and we're going to add an image. Upload files, select files, downloads, and it's going to be this one that I just downloaded. Alrighty. So now that that has pretty much uploaded, we're going to click select. And as you can see, it doesn't really do justice for it, does it? So display size, we're going to go to cover. And that means it's going to be perfectly covered across. Image size full, that's fine. Now what we want to do is we want to have a minimum height. And this means that we have a certain height of how big this banner is. All right, and we also want to see where, do, 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 where this is being positioned. So let's see what center center looks like. So now we get a bit more grass. So that looks a little bit nicer, but our header is also looking a little bit lonely. All right, so what we're going to do, I also want this to have a little bit of an overlay on it. So we'll go normal classic and then we're going to make this black so we're going to make it a little bit darker opacity we can make it a little bit lighter and then let's do something about this header so content h1 cool now first off let's probably make that white because the background is dark and let's have a little bit of a nicer font so we're going to click on this little pencil here next to typography and let's change this to Montserrat. I like this one. This is a nice font. Um, and we're probably going to want to make it a bit bigger too. So if we click on that, then we get to adjust the size. Best Moe in Brisbane. All right. I like that. It's not too bad. And we're going to add a button under here. Once again, we want to make it a bit bigger. Let's add it to the middle and get a free quote. All right. Now, realistically, you can actually set these to be a certain template each time you use it, which I can show you in a moment. Um, now, when it hovers, I want it to be a bit darker. That's all right. I like that. So now, update. Alrighty, one moment. Alrighty, so now we've got a nice little title there. We've also got a button, which in time will lead them to a spot where they can get a free quote. And I'm gonna show you how to do that as well on the next video. But now, let's add some things where people are actually gonna jump on this website and hopefully, they trust you. So we're gonna ha have to add a bit more content than just this. So let's go and add another block, just like that. But this time we're gonna have a little bit of a split here. So we're gonna go for inner section. We're gonna add that onto there. On one side, we're going to add an image, just like that. And on this side, we're going to add a little bit of a heading. So what we might actually do, just to keep the styling, is we're gonna go edit heading, I mean not edit, sorry. We're gonna go duplicate. Then we're gonna bring it down here, and now obviously we can't see the text. So let's go ahead and click on that. We'll change the style, and let's change the typography color to be black. Keep it simple. All right, content, we're gonna want that to be on the left, and now this is going to be a H2, which also probably means we want it to be a little bit smaller. So 35, that seems fine. So this top section, what you probably want to do is um, about us. Make sure it's capitalized properly or in the style that you want. And then we're also going to add a little bit of text under here. So this allows you to chat about you. Um, here's a fun little hack for you. Chat GPT, one of, I don't know, a great little great little tool um, for people to use. Let me just log in here. All right. And now, here we go. Let's have a little look here. Write me an about section 
for a Brisbane based lawn mowing company. All right, and it's just gonna spit out the answers. Um, now realistically, you can tailor what prompt you put in there so it's a bit more, you know, related to what you do. Realistically, I'd say this is going to be a bit too long, uh, but I'll let you kind of play with what you want to put in there. Obviously, personalize it to your business and make sure that it's kind of relevant to, to you. But essentially, once you're happy with it, copy, paste it in there, and you'll be fine. Um, so that's that section. And now you probably also want to have a photo in here. Make it look pretty, you know? So what I would do here, go back to our good friend over here, Pexels. We're gonna find a photo that kind of reflects what you do. Um, I like this one, that's fine. And let's go with this one because we're gonna need another one for later as well, all right? So we take it here, choose image, upload files. We've been here before, you know exactly what we're doing. But of course, once again, tailor this to you, your business, and exactly what you do. Just waiting it for it to do a little upload. Um, but yeah, you know, of, of course, with, with every single piece of content here, you want to tailor it and cater it to your target audience and exactly what they need as well. Um, while we're actually doing this, we can actually upload the other photo as well. Oh, did I just upload the same photo? Damn it. All right, select files. We want the whipper snipper. And while we're doing that, let's insert this one. All right, that's starting to look all right. This probably needs a little bit more text. What we can do, let's make it a little, yeah, probably just needs a bit more text. Do, 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 do. It actually looks nicer being a little more slim like that. Now what we're gonna do here is do a reverse of it as well to make it look nice underneath it. So what we're gonna do is click, you're gonna try and get above this section to this little one. You're gonna click that and duplicate. So now we've got two of them. And we're gonna do a swappity doodah. So we're gonna drag this column move it over to this side, and now it's reversed. And what we're also going to do is just put in a little bit of a gap between them as well. So we're gonna add in this. Let's just put in a little spacer. A little bit of spacing never hurt anybody. Let's change it to 30 pixels just to make it nice. Now this next section, so we've got about us. It tells you about what, you know, your, your business and whatnot. Um, and then the next thing that you probably want to put on there just to make it clear for people is services. So what is the service that you actually offer? We're going to update the photo to be the other photo that we have available. And let's go back to our friend ChatGPT. Write me to paragraphs on services, our local Brisbane lawn mowing team offer. All right. Now, once again, this is just random content and you're going to have to customize it for the actual services you offer. But this is a good way to kind of get things done quickly and allow you to get a website up and then you can customize it and make sure that it's relevant to the services that you actually offer. Now this is a little bit long. I'm going to cut it down a bit. Realistically, you should do this in a more considered fashion. Um, but yeah, that's that. All right. Now, we want people to probably reach out and get a quote again. So they've come onto your website. You've got a beautiful header. You've got a nice hero banner. They learn about you. They understand the services they offer. What comes next is probably a call to action. So we're gonna create another one of these, which just basically wants to prompt them 
to get started. All right, so we're gonna put this there. We're gonna center align it. And we're gonna say, get a quote, question mark. We're gonna add in a little bit of text. Um, and we're going to center align this as well. So style, center align. We're gonna go um, complete the form below to get a quote on your lawn. 100% satisfaction guarantee or whatever you offer. But what we try and do is reduce what's called the action threshold for these people. We want these people to go on there and have no reason not to get a quote. Um, I've actually done something a little stupid here. So let's just go back for a moment. One more. This was actually from here. And what I was supposed to do is duplicate it and pull it down here. So let me just fix that back up. Now the beauty of this being all online and easy is you never really lose anything, which is great. Uh, complete the form below to get a quote. All right, and now on the next video, not, not this video, the next video, you're going to learn how to put together a lead form and direct people there and set up autoresponders to them to get people to take action without you doing absolutely anything. So if you did like this video, stick around to the next one. It's going to help you grow your business, I assure you. Now, last thing we're going to do on this website is we're going to create a footer. But before we do that, I really want to add a little spacer between here and oh, there, there, oh, there we go. Just to space it out a little bit. It looks so much prettier spaced out. All right, last thing that we're going to do here is we're going to create the footer and I'm gonna show you exactly what this website looks like. So appearance, we're going to go to header and footer. Now that we've saved this, we can close that. All right, and we're gonna create a footer. So we're gonna go add new, all right, it's gonna load. Type of template, footer, great. Entire website. All, and we're going to go footer version one. Publish, all right. And now we're gonna go over here. I don't wanna edit it with Elementor straight from there. So now we're gonna edit in a new tab, your footer gonna open that up in a new tab, edit with Elementor. And this is going to load up, and then we're going to be able to design a beautiful looking footer. So, how I would do this, click a little plus, we do the little single one again, and we're going to add in a inner section. But, it's a bit fat and chunky for an, a footer. So we're actually gonna copy this and duplicate. So now we've got three of them. Left hand side, what we're gonna first off add into there is a little image. The first thing that I would always put in a footer is a little logo. Now that's way too big. Da da da. We're gonna move it to the left. Looks beautiful. Then after that, we're going to add in a little bit of text. So they see your, your logo. And you know we were going off the fact that this is a lawn mowing Brisbane, uh, lawn mowing business in Brisbane, um, the absolute best lawn mowing you will ever see in Brisbane. We want a little slogan in there, something that makes people want to come visit you. All right. Now, what are we going to do with these other spots? Realistically, once you build more pages, you're gonna put a vertical menu in there. So you're gonna have a few different um, menus in here uh, that are going to allow you to link to other pages. Let me show you an example of this. Uh, so this is uh, Tinting Gold Coast. Um, and if we scroll down to the very bottom here, as you can see, we've got 
logo. The best tinting you can find on the Gold Coast. How good. We've got brought to you by, and we've got copyright. You know, we should probably add that onto this one. Let's actually just copy that. All right, we'll move it over here. You have my permission to copy this. Just an FYI. Whoop, copyright by. Trade agency of what, whatever your business is called. All right, great. And then in these two sections, once you do create more pages, it's not essential right now. It'll look fine like this. Oh, actually, let's do it for one website. So if you didn't have other links, this is how I would do it. You want to center align everything in the middle square, just like that. All right. And now let's show you exactly what this website looks like. So let's open this into a new tab. All right. Here's our website. Logo, call to action, call to action, best mowing in Brisbane, great title. You'll probably include it to make it a bit more keyword specific, best lawn mowing in Brisbane, best residential lawn mowing in Brisbane. Make it captivating, make people wanna come visit your website. Get a free quote. Now we're gonna link this somewhere eventually. Next one, about us, let people learn about your business, build up some trust. Next thing, where did, where did services disappear off to? This website is just disappearing on me. All pages, all right. Edit with Elementor. Let's have a little crack here and see what happened. All right, it truly did disappear. Did I really steal everything from that site without duplicating it? All right, drag it down here. Services, great stuff. Alrighty, now, refresh this bad boy. Oh, last thing we need to do is create a favicon and add it up here. I'll show you how to do that. So, let's actually do that now. So we go back to our WordPress site, um, appearance, customize. We're gonna go to customize. On the left-hand side, we're gonna have some cool things come up here. The one we want is site identity. Select site icon. We're going to upload files, select files, and then we're going to select this one. Trady agency, skip cropping. I've already cropped it to be great. And publish, all right. Now, let's refresh this one. Beautiful, so now you can see the little icon that I just added up there. All right, so Trady agency, call to action. Best mowing in Brisbane, call to action, about us. Great little blurb about your business and why people should trust you. Next thing, services. Let's tell people exactly what you do. Realistically, I probably even put this in like dot points or little titles and why they should hire you to do that. That would probably look better than what I've got here. Next, get a quote. Complete the form below to get a quote. And that's exactly what we'll be doing in the next video. So stick around, watch the next video. I hope this was helpful and you learned how to build your first website, or maybe update your current website to start making your business look better online and be better. All right, watch the next video. Thank you for sticking around and I'll catch you in the next one. Adios.